Roberto, let's do this thing. I've had enough of your lollygagging, Roberto. <laughs> I'm lollygagging? Yeah, Roberto's like, um, you came downstairs, pulled me away from my productive <laughs> work to do this. Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. How's it going? <laughs> and today we're going to show you this really cool unit called the Tau Remora, which is currently available through Forge World in packs of two. And I have fallen in love with these little guys. I think they're fantastic. I've got four for my own army. And uh, I'm now mandating that every Tau player have at least four Remoras in there. <laughs> and Roberto's going to tell you all about them and why they're incredibly awesome. Okay. Okay, so Roberto has converted some remoras. Yep. And so before we start, tell us a little bit about your remora conversion. Okay, well these are built off of the Skyray turret that you get with the uh, hammerhead kits. Whoa, whoa, I just lost it. Okay, okay, go ahead. And so just a few other bits we had lying around, but it's mostly the Skyray parts. <laughs> okay. So the sky ray like flanges, right? Mm -hmm. The wings and the little side turrets. And uh -huh. Took the uh, two burst cans that also comes with the kit and the two missiles. And then a few, uh, well, the marker lights that come on the sky ray I used as part of the engines. And we have right. two uh, tank antennas kind of clipped short. Okay, great. All right, well, that, that's a pretty awesome conversion. Uh, tell us all about the unit itself. Okay. Well, it comes in at just under 100 points. You can have up to five in a squadron, and okay. because they are flyers, they do have to arrive from reserve, but they have some pretty nice armament. Okay, so they're flyers. Yes, they are. Okay, got it. And, but they can also enter the board in hover mode. Okay, so, so like from the board edge then? Mm -hmm. Is that how that works? Okay, great. They also have deep strikes, so you can just drop them down in the middle of the table if you so desire. <laughs> wow, all right. Um, but they have long barreled burst cannons, which are range 36, strength 5, AP 5, heavy 6 shots. Whoa, heavy 6? Heavy 6. What's the range? Uh, 36 inches, and they're twin linked. Oh, that's fantastic. And what's the ballistic skill? Uh, they're ballistic skill 3, so they hit. You are kidding of the time. me. And so then you reroll half of those, so you're hitting on average about 75% of your hits. Right, about so, four and a half, f four or five hits. Yep. Mathematically, 4.5 hits per six shots. Mm -hmm. Great. Go ahead. What else? So they also have networked marker lights, one each Yummy. and two seeker missiles each. Right. So, and because they're networked, the squadron gains the benefit of those marker lights. So you can lower the uh, cover save, okay. uh, lower morale, make it easier to hit, increase your ballistic skill, or fire those seeker missiles that you have. Oh, that is fantastic. Well, that makes me happy inside. So basically, since they're flyers, they can mm -hmm. zoom in. Let's say you have a pair of these guys. Okay. Okay. Just the and by the way, with seventh edition, since you can have as many detachments as you want, right? Mm -hmm. You could have, you, you can fit these in your army pretty easily. Pretty easily. Um, so in the, uh, they're in the Imperial Armor, I believe, third book. Uh, the Taros campaign in the second edition, they are counted as a fast attack choice for your Tau army. So any okay. Tau army can take this as a fast attack. Awesome. Okay, so against a flyer, for example, let's mm -hmm. uh, let's get some dice rolling here. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so against a flyer, you would uh, like if you really wanted to shoot it down, you'd take uh, both your drones here, right? Mm -hmm and you'd shoot your marker lights at the flyer. Oh, okay. don't worry, this isn't really upside down. <laughs> okay, so you need four ups. So this would have, so you'd have two marker light hits. Yep. Now, network marker light means that you can actually use the marker light for that squad. For the shot same it. squad that Correct. shot it. Normally, you can't do that. Normally. It has to be another squad that uses the marker light hits. Correct. Okay, so with the marker light hit, so now that I've marker lighted, all right, so I've got two marker light hits on this enemy flyer. So now, what, what do these allow me to do? Like, what, what good is a marker light hit? Okay, well, you can increase your ballistic skill by one per marker light. Okay. Um, you could discourage his uh, jinx save. So spend a marker light point to make that one less. Okay. 
or you could fire a seeker missile. Right. And I, I think the seeker missiles are really what's called for here. Okay. To make sure the job gets done. Right? So to declare okay. shooting a seeker missile, you just spend the marker light point. Now your seeker okay. missiles have a ballistic skill of five. It does right. count as another shooting attack. If, if you use it with the marker light hit. Yes. Now you can fire it just normally and have, it, it's like a missile that hits on a four up, basically. I'll have to double check that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, but you still need to roll to hit with your seeker right. missile. And they do have a range of 72 inches, uh, strength eight AP three. Wow. So you don't, you wouldn't even need to, and you wouldn't even need to see the enemy unit. Of nope. course you would to marker light it to begin with, so obviously Correct. you'd be able to but do that. But they do ignore line of sight. So you can awesome. shoot around obstacles. That's ridiculously cool. Okay, so now, if I'm not mistaken, let's say a unit of Pathfinders had marked a unit with some marker lights. Okay. Does that, now does that mean that the drones can now shoot their missiles independently at that unit? Correct. So they could use their marker, their networked marker yeah. light to increase their burst cannons. Fantastic. Okay, so back to shooting down this Barracuda here. By the, this is our conversion for that. Okay, so, um, so you'd fire a seeker missile and you'd have to declare all this. So let's just fire two seeker missiles. Okay. Shall we? So you so hit, hit on two ups. Yep. All right, here it comes. So that would be two hits, yep. strength eight. Now right. versus a flyer, this is pretty much death right here. Can be, yes. <laughs> that would be two penetrating hits. Well, I am kind of on fire. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't the greatest example because I'm rolling so insanely awesome. <laughs> now the seeker missiles also have the ignores cover special rule, so right. can't jink. Oh, wow, that's ridiculously awesome. All right, great. So, um, that's a so I'd get two pins, there would be mm -hmm. no jink, no cover. No nothing, I would just roll and I'd, I'd, just, I'd just blow that puppy up. Now let's say you decided not to do it. Let's say you just, let's say you just got one marker light hit, because that, that would be more like average. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let's say I was out of seeker missiles and I only had my long barreled burst cannons versus AV-10 on a flyer, which would be typical. So now, how many shots would I get between these guys? You would get six shots each with your burst cannons. That was a rhetorical question, Roberto. Um, okay. Do you want to roll them? Because sure. it's a lot of dice, buddy. <laughs> and it feels good. Hold on. Just get them warmed up for you. There you go. So you got 12 dice here? Okay. So, oh, so what are you going to use your marker light for in this case? I'm going to increase the uh, ballistic skill. Okay. So you so, now have ballistic skill four. We remove the marker. Yep. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So now I need threes. Yep. Awesome. So how many, how many were misses out of the 12? Uh, three misses out of 12. Okay, so that, that's slightly above average. Oh, but you're gonna oh. re-roll those. Yep. Wow, so, so you're gonna get miss. 11 hits. 10, 10 hits would actually be reasonable, right? Mm -hmm. You're unlikely to get less than that. Now, strength five, average flyer, rear armor's 10, maybe right. 11. Okay. So fives and sixes. So yeah, that, that would be wretched death. And th <laughs> that, that, and that was actually a lot. Let's do, let's do another round just, just for kicks. So okay. you'd have, you'd have three penetrating hits. Wow. Okay. So only two misses. This is actually really good for me. Okay. <laughs> so that's 11. You're, you're using all your luck up. All my luck demo. for the week. <laughs> yeah. For the week. Wow. You're harsh on yourself, man. Okay. So this, this would be, even if they jinked, this would probably be glanced to death. Yeah, jinx basically. four up. Yeah, that'd be three, three, three hole points. Yep. Okay, do, do it one more time. Do it again, do it again. <laughs> okay. So we got seven hits that time. Twin okay, linked. Okay, that, that was slightly below average. So three more on the twin link. Okay, there you go. So 10, even if you're rolling a little below, you're still getting 10 hits. Oh, that is insane. Six shots each. Are you sure that's right? It is. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. So basically your remoras zoom in. Mm -hmm. They kill a flyer if there is one. You need sixes to hit them. Yep. And, it, and this gets better because they also have 
shrouded. They do have shrouded. So without even jinking, they have a five up cover save. If they do right. jink, that is now a two up because jinx a four up right. goes to a two up. So wow. if they jink, it's a two up cover save. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. So now the other thing is they can, they can go into hover mode. So the next turn at the beginning of the turn, you can drop to hover, which makes them a skimmer. Correct. And uh, what I love about these guys, and it's a weird sort of side effect, is they're flyers, but they're mounted on these 60 millimeter bases at like an inch and a half mm -hmm. tall. They uh, have standard skimmer uh, basing is what they come with. Right. So, so if you drop into hover, you know, just move a bit, hide behind a building, still get right. that really nice cover save. A ridiculous cover save. And if you need so to. So a five up becomes a three up. Yeah, if you need to, pull a 180 and fly right back. <laughs> That's amazing. Immediately change direction and all for a very nice price. Yep. Below 100 points. Yeah. That's, that's pretty ridiculous. Can I, can I see the sheet just real quick? Okay. I want to make sure we didn't miss any features. Okay, great. Oh, they ignore night fight. Oh, they do. Yes, because they have a black sun filter. And they're immune to blind. And immune to blind. That is amazing. They come with seeker missile standards, so you don't got to buy those. Yep. And, uh, yeah, you can have up to five of them in, in a squad. Mm-hmm. Yep, loving me some remoras, man. And uh, you can actually make them pretty cheap out of these uh, Skyray things. Yeah. But uh, th they are notably less expensive than a regular flyer if you order the actual remora, which is a great fig yeah. from Forge World. I love the aesthetics of the Forge World figure. I wanted to get some myself, but I had a plenty of Skyray turrets lying around because I have a pretty substantial Tau army. So I was like, what can I do with this? I saw some people uh, attempting their own conversions. It's like, I think I can pull this off. All right. Well, Roberto, thanks a million. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. And um, for the rest of you, get some remoras. One last quick note for this week, the week of the wink, week of June 16th through 21st, we uh, have a big kit special. Check the liner notes for details.